In today's episode, you will learn how to monitor the light intensity using UV dots, gauges and charts along with the time and date information. This is a getting started tutorial and explains the extreme basics like for example, number one, how to send the census data from the node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module to the UV dots IoT platform. Number two, how to display the value stored in a variable on gauges and charts. Number three, circuit diagram explanation. Number four, interfacing and finally number five, testing. Let's get started. The components and tools used in this project can be purchased from Amazon. The components purchase links are given in the description. As you can see the circuit diagram is really simple. LGR is connected in series with a 10K resistor which makes a voltage divider circuit. As you know LGR stands for light dependent resistor. LDR is basically a variable resistor whose resistance changes with the amount of light falling on the LDR. So as the resistance changes due to the light, it results in a change of voltage. This change of voltage is monitored using the analog pin A0 of the node MCU ESP8266 Wi-Fi module. Now Maria will explain the interfacing and the UV dots ESP8266 library. As you can see, the LDR is connected in series with a 10K resistor. The orange wire is the 3.3 volts wire. Blue wire is the ground wire. While the white wire is connected with the A0 pin of the no MCU model. Before you start the programming, first of all, make sure that you download the UV.ESP8266 library. I will provide a link in the description. After you download the library, the next step is to open the latest version of the Arduino ADE and add this library. As you can see, I have already added this library. So, this is how easily you can download a library and add it into the Arduino's libraries. As you can see, it is a very small program and it's very easy. As usual, I started by including the library UV Dots Micro ESP8266. This is your UV Dots token which you simply copy from your UV Dots account. Open your UV Dots account. Click on the API credentials. Copy the UV dots token and paste it in the programming. This is the name of the Wi-Fi router and this is the password. Client is a function and it takes one argument as the input which is the token. Then I defined a variable last millis of the type unsigned long. Integer LDR is equal to A0. LDR circuit is connected with the analog pin A0 of the node MCU, which I have already explained in the circuit diagram. Integer LDR underscore data is equal to 0. The LDR value is stored in the variable LDR underscore data, which is of the type integer. In the white setup function, we activate the serial communication using the serial dot begin function and set the baud rate. As LDR is an input device, so we set it to input. Then start the while loop function. We send the LDR of value to the UV dots after every one second. You can change this value. 
This basically defines the interval in my case. I selected one second. If you want, you can select five seconds or 10 seconds as per your requirement. LDR underscore data is equal to analog read LDR. Read the LDR and store the value in variable LDR underscore data. Last millis is equal to millis. Client dot aid LDR comma LDR underscore data. LDR is the name of the variable which will be available in the UB dots account. So now we are done with the programming and now it's time to upload the program. Before you upload the program, first of all, make sure that the right board is selected. And also make sure that the right COM board is selected. Then click on the upload button and wait for a while. As you can see, the program has been uploaded and for now, I will disconnect the Node MCO module. Open your UBDOTS account. Click on the Devices menu and select Devices. Now as you can see there is no device. Now I'm going to connect my Node MCU module again. Wait for a few seconds and refresh the page. As you can see, a new device with the name ESP8266 has been added. Now if you click on this device, you will see the value of the LDR in real time. You can see a change in the value as I change the amount of light falling on the LDR. As you can see the variable name LDR, this is the name which I defined in the programming. So this is the variable which we can use now with different gauges and charts. Let's display this value on a gauge and chart. Click on the data menu and select dashboards. Click on Add New Widget. As you can see, we have different widgets, but for now, let's use a gauge. Click on the Add Variables. Then click on the device, which is ESP8266. And then select the variable LTR. You can change the name of the widget. You can change the range value. Now you can monitor the light intensity in real time using a gauge.
Now let's add the line chart the same way we added the gauge. You can see a change in the value as I change the amount of light falling on the LDR. This is how easily we can use the widgets in UB Dots. Support me on Patreon for more videos. I hope you liked today's episode. Like and share this video with your friends. See you in next episode and thanks for watching.